just a girl and she's on fire Hi, my name is Shamir Harrington and today is October the 21st, 2013 and I'm just here to talk about my expectations as far as participating with Fitness on Fire. And so I heard about Fitness on Fire um, one night I was just playing around on Facebook and a picture and a testimonial from one of the participants um, just popped up in my news feed and so I decided to click on it um, to read about her journey as far as weight loss is concerned and so from there I joined the Facebook page and I started reading other testimonials and watching videos um, of the young ladies and just them being transformed and it sparked something in me because this is something that I've been trying to do for a while now and um, so I reached out to the nutrition guru and she was more than willing to answer all of my questions she responded immediately um, she understood she understood that I would be a little skeptical um, because it was an online program I couldn't sit across from someone and ask the questions that I had or anything like that. And so um, she gave me her telephone number and told me I was more than willing to call her. She was willing to Skype me if I wanted to see her as far as her face was concerned. But after that, I decided like, okay, I'm going to think about it a little bit more. I'm going to kind of take some time to pray on it. And so uh, three three weeks or so went by, I'm not sure. But I reached out to one of the participants because I wanted to hear from someone that was actually doing the program. You know, I wanted to see if it was working for them, if it was meeting their expectations. Um, and just any hesitance or concerns that they had about it. Um, and so the young lady was more than willing to talk to me. She was very encouraging. She reached out. She gave me her number she answered all of my questions um, and she even talked about just her own personal struggle and so that was very motivating for me and so as you can see I'll come a little closer I have on a pair of jeans that I have not worn since 2009 and currently I am unable to button them all the way I'll show you a side view see the pockets are kind of coming out and even from the back side they're kind of tight in the butt area um, and then this shirt is supposed to be loosely fitted but because of um, just my midsection um, it's kind of tight and so hopefully after my 90 days this shirt will fit the way that it's supposed to it'll be loose here um, you won't see a lot of the arm fat that's there um, and then even up top it'll be loose so that I can be comfortable and so um, hopefully after the 90 days I'll be able to button these pants the shirt will be very very loose because right now I just simply cannot breathe in this shirt um, and I will be able to button my pants so I'll give you a closer view And I'll step back so that you can see that it is me. Good morning. Today is October the 22nd, 2013. This is Shimmy Harrington, and this is my first official weigh-in for Fitness on Fire. So let's see where I stand. Okay, currently the scale reads at 250.4. So just in case you're wondering if it's me, hi, good morning. Again, it is October the 22nd and I currently weigh in at 250.4. Hi, um, this is Shamir. Today is November the 24th, 2013, and this is my weekly review video. Um, last week uh, was a very, very interesting week. Um, um, last week was challenging on a number of levels. Um, 
And so uh, this morning when I woke up and I did my weigh in and I did my measurements, um, in the beginning I was not happy with the results that I saw because I had a particular number in mind as far as where I wanted to be at with my weight. I was really hoping that I had lost some inches. And so when I was looking at myself and I didn't meet the standard that I quote unquote had set, a part of me got discouraged and I began to look at the jeans that I had to try on as my goal jeans and thought to myself like there is no way I would possibly be able to get into a size 14 uh, by the end of this 90 day journey and so I just got so frustrated and I was at the point of just wanting to say okay well what's the point you know you're working you're eating right you know you're going to the gym to the best of your ability and this week it just seems like uh nothing moved like nothing happened um and so you know this morning I was a little frustrated Hi, this is Shamir, and this is my Go Chain video after 90 days um, participating with Fitness on Fire. So, um, the size jeans that I have is a size 14. Um, I pretty much was in a size 20, actually fitting a size 22 comfortably. So. Let's see if I can get in these jeans. Um, so yeah, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, so hopefully I position the camera correctly. And I'm gonna kinda step in them first and then. Whew. all right. Okay, so. When I first got these jeans, um, I could barely get them up. They probably were coming about right here. Um, and so it's a good thing that now I can actually put the jeans all the way on and even button them up. And so hopefully I can zip them. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, well, I can zip them. So they're definitely still too tight around the, the midsection, but overall, waistline-wise, I was actually able to get in my gold jeans and so keep working on my midsection, but this is a 14, a size 14 jeans. I haven't worn a size 14 in, who what is this, 2014, so roughly about... I don't know, maybe seven years or something like that. So this is pretty cool to be able to get in the jeans. And they're not very tight. I actually have room in my thighs. It's more so, you know, the more I continue to work on this area, um, the better it looks. And so I'm happy to say that I can actually fit a size 14 in jeans. Hi, this is Shamir, and this is my 90-day review video for Fitness on Fire. Woo, woo! <laughs> I am so excited that I have made it uh, to the end of my 90-day journey because had you talked to me on day one, I would have probably told you that I wasn't sure if I would be able to successfully complete this program, but, uh, but here I am. Um, I'm done with this part of the journey and I am loving the results. I'm loving uh, the things that I've learned about nutrition, um, what I've learned about fitness, and also what I've learned about myself doing this 90-day process. And so when I first reached out to the staff of Fitness on Fire, it really was because um, it was time to lose weight. It was time to do something different. And I have tried it on my own for a long time as far as trying to change up my eating habits and working out. And I have to honestly say that in doing it on my own, um, I haven't seen the results. I Oh, I've never seen the results that I've seen while being on Fitness on Fire. 
And so um, just talking to the nutritionist guru and just learning about, you know, what foods I should eat and the things that I shouldn't um, and just how to be creative in my food choices um, while trying to change my eating habits has definitely been um, good for me. Because one of the things I struggled with is cutting out certain foods because I thought that clean eating to a certain degree was boring, um, but it's not. And I appreciate the, the tips that she gave. Um, the food challenges that she gave me, um, the advice that she gave as far as trying different recipes and things like that. And when I would reach out to her about um, something that I wanted to eat, and let's just say it was not good for me or... Um, I didn't know whether or not I should have it. Um, I appreciated her honesty and just her willingness to, to educate me. And so if it was something that um, she said that I couldn't eat, she wouldn't just say, no, Shamir, you can't have that. She would say, that's not good for you because of X, Y, and Z. And she would explain why certain foods wasn't good for, for my body. And not only that, she would give me an alternative. And, and I appreciated that because when I tried losing weight on my own um, or changing up my eating habits, I would just eliminate certain things. And I didn't have an alternative or I didn't have something to replace it with. And so um, I would give up easily because I'm like, this is boring. You know, I like to eat. I love food. And so it has to be something than um, something else out here that I could do and so I definitely appreciated those times and those moments when she would be very stern about no you cannot eat that but giving me an alternative helped me to appreciate learning how to to, to eat better and to give my body uh, the foods that it need um, in order to fuel itself to do you know just the daily activities and I could see um, and notice the change in my body and just how I felt overall, the more I eliminated certain food out of my life and the more I incorporated the things that were good for me. And so um, nutrition wise, um, I learned a lot. And I think that I've been very consistent in that area, uh, except for one area, which is my water intake. And um, just being educated about the importance of water and the role that water plays in in uh, in weight loss um, has definitely been amazing. And so um, over the past 90 days, compared to where I was in day one, um, I have definitely increased in my water um, I'm not where I should be or uh, where I would like to be, but overall, um, I have definitely made strides to, to do better. And so that's what this program is all about. Fitness on Fire has definitely taught me how to be patient with myself um, and how to enjoy the journey along the way. Um, and so nutrition-wise, it's been great when it comes to fitness. <laughs> Let's just say uh, that has been a challenge for me. Um, I did not go to the gym right off. Um, it took me a, probably about two to three weeks to actually get into the gym um, because I just had to mentally prepare myself for working out five to six days a week. Um, to go from not doing any exercises to basically... Um, I guess being in the gym often, um, I just could not wrap my mind around that. But the moment I stepped into the gym in my first initial assessment, I shocked myself. Um, I didn't know that I could go um, as long as I did. Um, I didn't know that my endurance uh, was where it was. And um, just sitting down, I shouldn't say sitting down, but talking to Fire um, about the importance of fitness and exercise and the importance of uh, utilizing the appropriate equipment at the gym has definitely changed my thought processes about some things because I was going to the gym and utilizing certain machines and I was not getting results and so when um, he had me to uh, send him the photos of the machines at my gym and he recommended the machine that I was to use on a daily basis um, and to see the results while doing that machine has totally, totally, totally been amazing because you couldn't have told me to get off of a treadmill or an elliptical. Um, but those things were not beneficial for me. And that's because I didn't have the knowledge that I needed um, as it pertains to, to gym equipment and fitness. And so um, 
so yeah, I've I've done it. Um, I haven't been as consistent. There were days that I missed in the gym. There were days where I fought going to the gym. I was frustrated, sometimes to the point of tears, not wanting to be there because it is a struggle. Um, if 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 fitness is not something that you're used to, if exercising is not something that you do on a regular basis, even for those that do it on a regular basis, there are just some days where you do not want to go. But then when you think about not getting the results that you desire or not reaching your goal. Those are the things that uh, that pushes you and propels you to do right. And not only that, um, the staff of Fitness on Fire, Nia and Fire himself, um, are just as passionate about you reaching your goal. Or they were just as passionate about me reaching my goal than, than I was. And their passion and their dedication and their encouragement and their tough love, all their tough love, um, definitely helped me to to get it together on those days where I did not want to go. And so overall... Um, I'm not just saying this to be saying it, but I know that had I not reached out to Fitness on Fire, I wouldn't be um, at the weight that I am now. I would not have achieved the results that I have while being on this program the past 90 days. And I am just so grateful um, for them just being willing to openly share with the world um, the things that they know and for them having the heart to want to see people healthy and want to see people fit um, and making it their their business to make sure that that we reach our goals and so fitness on fire has definitely been a blessing for me um, I am looking forward to what phase two has to bring in my journey and uh, and I'm just excited I'm glad that I made it through the 90 days I'm glad that um, I experience the the good times and the bad times because as a result I've learned so so much and um, so I'm appreciative I'm grateful and to be 40 pounds down uh, man that's just amazing and so um, I'm happy um, and I'm looking forward to what's to come so see you in phase two oh.